guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Here we are again in our series of Microtech PPPoE. In our previous video, I already demonstrated how to set up PPPoE server, clients, bandwidth limit, burst speed, and payment reminder via web proxy. If you haven't watched my previous videos, please watch it first so that you can fully benefit and understand this video content. I will put the link on the description box below. In this video, I will show you now how to configure your PPPoE server to have automatic expiry scheduler for your PPPoE clients. Meaning, when the PPPoE client first dial the PPPoE server, it will create automatically a 30 days interval or duration scheduler and after that duration, it will be changed automatically to expired profile and remove the active PPPoE connection. Let's get started now with the configuration. I already prepared here a script. We will just copy and paste it to our PPPoE profiles. In our case, we have 5 MB profile and 10 MB profile. So we will just go to script, tab, then paste it here. Then click apply, then click OK. Then for the 10 MB profile, we will, we will also paste it here. Apply, then OK. So I will explain this script so that you can understand what will it do to our Microtech device. So as what you can see, system scheduler add interval 30 days so this means that when the script is running it will make a system scheduler this one system then scheduler it will create a scheduler so the name of that scheduler based on the script is it will be named user dollar user meaning it will be named after the user that dials the PPPO server so for example uh, user number one dials the PPPO server so the name of this PPPO uh, the name of this scheduler will be now user one then the interval is 30 days then in the on event field this script will be put in here in the on event so in the on event meaning when when this 30 days interval is now uh, due or due date then in the on event this script will will be triggered so ppp secret set find name dollar user one meaning in the PPP script, in the, in the PPP secrets, this one, PPP secret, it will find the name user. So dollar user meaning the user that that is being, uh, is that dials in the PPP server. So in our case, for example, it's user one. So it will find the user one in the secrets tab then it will go to profile and change it to expired profile because in the script when it finds it will the profile will now be in the expired profile then after that one in the active connections it will remove that user so here in the active connections this one will be removed This one will be removed. Then the system scheduler of that user will also be removed. So hope you understand my explanation. So this script will do the automatic expiry scheduler. So for this demonstration, we will change the interval. This one, we will change this one later to five minutes because 30 days is very long for this demonstration. 
So, for this script to trigger, we will, we will restart our dependent device. Right, I'm done. I'm done restarting the dependent device. We will just wait for the for it to dial again. When when the dependent device dials successfully, then the script will trigger. So there will be now a scheduler here. And in the active connection, you will see the IP of the PPBOE client pool. So we will just wait. All right. So as what you can see, the script is working just fine. So it creates a scheduler. So when user one successfully dial, it will create a scheduler named user one. Then for the duration, it's 30 days. Then the content of the on event is based on the content that we created here in the profile. This one. So this one will be copied in the auto automatic scheduler. It will be put here. And as what you can see, the name is user1. So that's it. So for 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 us to to see if this working, we will adjust the interval. 30 days is very long. So we will just make this to say three minutes. Click apply and okay. So when three minutes is already in due, then this scheduler will be removed and the active connections also, this user will be removed. And the secrets in the user one the profile will be changed to expired profile. So we will wait for three minutes. I will pause the video for a moment and we'll be back when we are almost there. All right, let's wait, we are almost there. So next run, As what you can see, the scheduler for user one is now removed and the active connections, the user one also is removed. Let's check in the secrets tab. All right, as what you can see in user one, it's now changed to expired profile. So the script works just fine. We will wait for the DP link to dial again so that it will be changed now to expired PPBA pool. Right, as you can see, user one dial successfully. So the IP now is 172.16.10.254, which is the IP for our expired PPPOE pool. It will not create a scheduler because the we did not put it here. We did not specify that that when the client is an expired profile, it will create a scheduler because it it is not is not uh, useful. The scheduler is being used for the expiry duration. So if the client is now done paying with the monthly subscription, then you will now reconnect his or her internet. So you will just go to secrets and search for the for the user. Double click that one, then in the profile, 
choose the profile that he or she availed. So for this demonstration, the user one availed 5 MB profile. Click apply then click OK. After that one, you will go to active connections, then search for that user, then delete. So that it will uh, dial again and get a new IP that is now coming from, that will be now in the PPPoE clients. So let's just wait for the TP-Link router to get a new IP. When the TP-Link router successfully dials, then it will it will be it will create again a scheduler for expiry. Scheduler, uh, automatic scheduler for the expiry. So let's just wait. All right, that's what you can see. User one dial successfully. The, the IP now is 192.168.255.254. And a new scheduler is being created. So this configuration is working just fine. This is it on how you do automatic expiry scheduler for your PPPoE clients. If you find this video helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Please also hit that notification bell so you can be notified to my new videos. Bye for now and have a nice day.